Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Today I am planning to show you that how I disassembled this Toyota VVTi engine's fly feel. And this is this fly feel. And this this part's purpose is that that this this part takes this uh, clutch power in here and then when pistons are moving like in these are piston holes in here then this when, when motor is running then this fly wheel is rolling and running and there is this rotation the same speed and this this uh, fly wheel is connected and joined to crank shaft and next there are those 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 bolts and these bolts are very interesting because there is this interesting shape and this shape is this is a, a little bit a special bolt and there is 12 corners and for that you need now new socket and there is this example and this socket size is 14 millimeter and here is the sides and then when you look in there inside there is 12 corners and this this tool fits in there and in my side there was interesting situation that when I had that kind of this longer bar I noticed that now there is difficult that that these these parts don't go together because this is bigger than that in here. Okay, I was lucky. And, and by the way, how much this socket cost? This cost something like about five US dollars, and in in euros something like four euros. And and you could purchase that tool in any little bit special tool shop and and car spare parts shop this is like standard socket and and for that now I need some some translators and those uh, connectors because now I need to connect this socket to this longer bar okay and and for that I need first new small socket this price is also this socket uh, this is like a, this, this makes this smaller socket a little bit bigger and this price is like two US dollars per unit and this part fits in here okay and now I have the bigger this joint but again this don't match but no any problems because I have purchased even bigger this this uh, socket what translates and and makes this smaller part to bigger part and then I connect this in here and now I have one two three sockets and then then these parts fit together and, and now I have this system in here and then I can start to open these bolts okay and now now this happens this first problem that 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 this this feel is moving when when I am trying to open these bolts okay and we we need to do now small trick and I saw that what we are planning to do next We have to in some way do in here some break and we have to make this uh, feel so so stable situation that, that this feel don't move in any way. And and we there is many possi many possibilities but now I think that I use that kind of metallic plate and there is one hole and there is one hole and I will connect this two holes in together. You you need any kind of uh, it can be even wood or 
fiber or plastic, at least that it, it is enough to durable. And then I need also bolts, like in here is one bolt for fits in here. And this is lucky that this is standard bolt for fits in here, okay? This is fine, and then I need second bolt, what is in here, what fits in here, and also small nut in here. And then I need to connect these two bolts in somehow, and this is my uh, solution. And I need to do only here a little bit bigger holes, and for that I need screwdriver. And here is one example. I have there this uh, screwdriver where is battery and this this screwdriver is uh, quite good quality and it can it can even make those holes in in this steel plate and then we look at how I do it. I, I press this trigger and then I insert that in here and then I start to do the hole. And then when you are doing these holes in that way, be careful, because when this drill goes in in there, then normally this plate hits in that side in this way, and then you can hurt your fingers. And that's I am a little bit careful, and I take my grip in here. And then okay, now it makes this hit, and and I got Okay, okay, and then I take it here. Okay, and now this hole is ready. And then I use this rotation reverse. I change this uh, drills, this turn, and, and now this hole is ready. In there, good. Okay, and then we can. Then we can insert this our metallic plate in here. And first, I think that I take these two bolts away. And, and then, then I insert this my plate in first in here. And this this bolt. You can use only your uh, finger power. You don't need to take this very much. At least it is, it is in that that thick. And then I insert this second second bolt in here. There is this, and this this bolt must be so thick that that it don't go through in this hole. Now. And I saw that there must be at, at least in that that kind of this bolt head. Okay, and then I rotate this again, and I change that bolt position, and I insert in there, and then there was my hole in there, what fits in there, and then I use my nut, and now I think that I have created small small this break okay and now now I have feeling that, that that maybe now I can open these bolts and I take this I take this my tool this is my tool and then I insert that in here and then I start to open that in using changing this this tool in that direction in in this direction that it means that it is like clockwise not in a clock turn it is like clockwise and then I test that and then we look that how much uh, how my I break is working. And 
Yes, this was quite thick, but I managed to open that. I managed to open. Okay, and now it's moving, and then I rotate that. that I, we can see what kind of bolt there is. Okay. Okay, interesting to see what kind of, okay, and there was that kind of special, special bolt, this special Toyota's bolt, and then there is also this, this threads glue, and this glue's meaning, this brown material is like glue, and it makes this stick and sticky, and, and, and it stucks this bolt, that they are like blockhead bolts. This this uh, this is good to notice that if you could notice some dirty things in there, it is sometimes this glue, like lock tight glue or something else. Okay, and this was this first bolt, and it 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 fits in here in this way. Yeah, this is interesting shape and twelve twelve corners. Okay, and, and then, then I open next one, and this, and these bolts are quite thick, and, and that's I recommend that you have this long, long bar that you can open, and because they are not so loosened, and I understand because they're big big power, like 100 and 150 horsepower goes through these bolts, and that's the reason why they have to be thick. Okay, and next, and next, and then next, and this is the final one. Okay, and good. And, and then I take those bolts away, and then we look at how we can take this this wheel away. And we continue. Okay, and then I start to use that kind of wrench, what is faster to use. There, there goes next one, and then the next bolt. Okay, and there is also that that glue in there in this bolt's thread. And then there is only three left. Then the final, final one in 
here. Okay, and this goes away. And next, next we need to take away this metallic plate. What is in there? This plate. And I take first this bolt, this bolt, and then this second, second bolt. Okay, and now, now this, this flywheel is is now quite loose and then I think that is everything is fine this fly wheel should move away as it happened yes it happened as in Toyota way and there is this other side of picture and please look that how good looking this part is there is only a little bit rusty but in this other side is like clean and then there we can see this crankshaft these bolts and crankshaft this this axle head is in there okay and this was that that how to take this flywheel away and thank you for watching and we continue in next video